Okay, we're at part two of our deep pipe cleaning. Part one, I kind of explained to you why we deep clean our pipes, showed you all the equipment that I use, showed you what I stored in, and we started cleaning our pipe. Okay, we've cleaned the bowl really good to where when you get the, uh, when you put a regular pipe cleaner in, it comes out clean cleaned our stem or you put a pipe cleaner in there and it comes out clean. Once that's achieved then it's pretty much cleaned. Uh, the outside that is is pretty much cleaned. So then what I do is I put my pipe back together, check to make sure that it's aligned and I remember when I put that little piece of, of uh, paper towel down into my bowl I don't know if it'll show it or not, but it really doesn't show it. But at the end, there's a little bit of of uh, this solution on there. And what that did was it soaked up that solution so it wouldn't damage um, your carbon cake at the very bottom of the bowl. Take that and throw it away. All right. Now, the next step is I take the antiseptic wipe and I open it up. Pull it out. Up on the end here. Just unfold it. And what I do with the antiseptic wipe is I use it to clean my bit. I clean that bit really good with the antiseptic wipe. You might have eaten some food or you might have, you know, I don't know, had a cold or something. And I just I just feel better when I antiseptically clean my bit. And I kind of go down the pipe a little bit okay throw that away and then i take my towel and i kind of clean off the excess not a germaphobe or anything i just figured it's just good practice okay now the next thing you want to do is you'll notice that when you light your pipe sometimes you might get this edge right here a little black well, that's soot so in order to make it look nice, you want to try to get that soot off. So I use one of my Q-tips and you won't believe it, but the best thing to get that off with is saliva. So I just stick it in my mouth and I scrub. You want to scrub that edge really good. Okay. When you do that, uh, this doesn't have a whole lot of soot on it. So it won't come out black, but it usually comes out black. Um, let me do one of my other pipes and see if I can get some to come off and show you. Look at that. See that? Once you clean that rim there, it will be nice and back to almost brand new. But that's that's what comes off that black stuff okay once you're done with that you throw it away all right the last step for me is a lot of times when you're when you're smoking your pipe you hold it in your hand and your oils get on your pipe and it sort of makes it dull makes it kind of uh i don't know it just doesn't pop so what I use to bring that back is in this little jar. In here is virgin olive oil. Now, olive oil is natural, and what it does is it, so it soaks into the finish a little bit, and it brings back that luster of the pipe. So what I do is I take my two fingers, my, well, first of all, I'll make sure that my hand is clean. I don't have any soot or anything on it and I take my forefinger and my thumb and I get I, I drizzle it onto my fingers and then I take and I just completely saturate my pipe try not to get it on the inside but just kind of take your fingers and roll it around if you don't have enough sometimes you don't have enough 
uh, to do the whole pipe. Just I do uh, the blue sight bit. Okay. Now you see how it shines that up. How it makes it shiny. I don't know if you can tell or not. But what I do then is I just I set it down and let it and let it set. What that olive oil does, it will soak into the finish a little bit, and when you when you wipe that off, it'll retain that nice bright, that nice that that nice brand new look. I do it to all my pipes. I do it to my uh, rough finish, uh, my rusticated, and my smooth. Uh, although it makes the smooths look be better because you can see it pop a little bit better. It does make the rusticated ones shine as well. Uh, now that step is, is personal preference. If you don't want to do that, um, it, that's fine. It's, it, that, it's just something I do because I want to try to protect the outside of my pipe. It, it sort of cleans the outside and, and it gives it that brand new luster of a brand new pipe again. I let it set for what I usually do is this uh, I will I will put the olive oil on the pipe set it aside start cleaning another pipe about halfway through I stop pick up the pipe with the olive oil and wipe it down so and because of time I'm gonna go ahead and do it now so then what I do is I take my uh, microfiber towel and I lightly just kind of wipe off the excess you still want it to look good you wipe it all the way off then it's not going to look good but it has sunk into that it's sunk into that uh, outside of your pipe and I don't know if you can still see that or not but it's still really nice and lustrous uh, and I've wiped out I've wiped off the excess now don't worry uh, when you smoke your pipe it's not going to burst into flames or anything. Um, so it, it, the outside of your pipe will not get, your bowl will not get so hot that it will cause any harm whatsoever to your pipe. Okay, so let's review. Well, no, let's not review. Uh, I'm going to stop, uh, stop the second video here. And then what I'm going to do is since I kind of talked through the whole thing and kind of showed you what each component does and how it cleans the pipe, you can't get a real sense of how long it takes to deep clean a pipe. So what I'm going to do is my next video, this, the third video, is going to be dedicated to just cleaning the pipe from beginning to end. And I'll show you. It's, it doesn't take all that long. I, I mean, if depending on how many pipes you have, it usually takes me an hour and a half maybe an hour to, to do all my pipes. So I'm going to do this pipe again, but I'm going to do it in real time and just show you how long it takes. Okay. I'll see you in a few minutes.